Right now, the holidays are quickly approaching and thousands of local sailors will be on deployment away from their friends and families. The deployment of the USS Gerald R. Ford is being extended once again. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has an update on the work local sailors are doing. USS Gerald R. Ford remains in the Mediterranean as a deterrent to the conflict going on in the Middle East. And recently, the sailors got a visit from Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Hey, babe. Love you. Perla Lopez is a Navy spouse whose husband is serving on USS Gerald R. Ford. We spoke with her just before Thanksgiving when President Biden visited Naval Station Norfolk. He's doing it for a reason, and it's something way bigger than him, so I appreciate him for everything he does. And now deployments for sailors serving on the Ford are being extended for a third time, given the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. The ship remains in the Mediterranean and not far from Israel. The carrier strike group left Norfolk in May. It's a hardship, especially at a time of year like this. On Wednesday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin visited the Ford and told the sailors they have helped to prevent a wider regional conflict. The Ford carrier strike group and its sailors are the embodiment of the U.S. commitment to regional stability and security. In addition, the locally based USS Dwight Eisenhower is close to the Gulf of Aden in Yemen. Virginia State Senator State Tim Slatter. Kaine says the two carriers being close to Israel signals a sign of U.S. power. Deployment of the carriers is a way for President Biden to send a message that there should not be escalation. The locally based Bataan Amphibious Strike Group is also working in the region. Virginia Senator Mark Warner says their efforts prove service members deserve a race. It's one of the reasons why I think as the president signs the um, defense bill, uh, the 5.2 percent pay raise is important. And with the holidays approaching, the service members are doing important work to help monitor a major world conflict. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.